We have seen the effect of uh, iterative elimination of dominated strategy with the max min strategy and we have seen that uh, for the player whose um, uh, strategy has been eliminated uh, that person does not that agent uh, does not have any effect on the uh, on the max min value uh, for other players the max min value might change now in this module we are going to ask the very similar question but for uh, pure strategy Nash equilibrium. What happens to this PSNE after you do an iterative elimination of a dominated strategy? Uh, uh, first, let us look at uh, one very uh, simple, uh, make one simple observation that uh, even if the, even if you uh, forget about the domination, uh, if you just remove one strategy for a specific player, uh, then uh, you can see that uh, if that strategy, if, um, uh, if you uh, remove a specific strategy and you uh, find out that the uh, Nash equilibrium which was there in the original game continues to survive in the new game, the, the reduced game, then that particular strategy profile will also be a Nash equilibrium in that reduced game. Why? Because if you uh, imagine that you have uh, removed the strategy of player J. For all the players except player J, uh, nothing has changed. Their strategy uh, set remained the same. Uh, everything else remained the same. So if there exists a Nash equilibrium in the original game, uh, which survives after removal a specific uh, removal of a specific strategy of player J, then for all the other players, the inequality uh, for the pure strategy Nash equilibrium remains exactly the same. For uh, that uh, last player, the uh, the player J, for which uh, it has uh, it has been removed, a specific strategy has been removed but not the strategy uh, which is the SI star, SJ star, so which is the Nash equilibrium strategy. Then by definition of Nash equilibrium, SJ star was the, uh, the column maxima for that particular uh, player. Uh, by column, I mean when the all other players are uh, playing the strategy of S minus J star, which is the Nash equilibrium strategy profile of all the other players, then SJ star was the maxima. And something that you have eliminated, not SJ star, uh, but that uh, does not change the maxima property of SJ star. It was uh, uh, the maxima over a larger set. Now you have removed, uh, made, made the set uh, smaller and you have uh, kept the same maxima. It will be a maxima uh, even over the smaller set. That is the intuition why uh, if you remove a certain strategy for any player, not necessarily a dominated strategy, and it happens that the strategy, uh, the Nash equilibrium strategy uh, profile survives in that reduced game, then that is definitely going to be a pure, pure strategy Nash equilibrium in the, in the reduced game. So this is, uh, this is the intuition, the proof uh, I can leave as an exercise, you can do it, it's very straightforward. But the more important question is that, can you generate new equilibria? So can it be possible? that uh, if you uh, remove some of the strategies, in particular the dominated strategies, then you can actually generate a new uh, set of uh, pure strategy Nash equilibrium. And in this uh, module we are going to show, the next uh, result essentially shows that you, if you remove dominated, weakly dominated strategy, uh, then y y uh, nothing, nothing is going to change. Essentially the strategy uh, uh, profile, the PSNE of that reduced game is also a, a pure strategy Nash equilibrium of the uh, larger game, of the uh, of the original game. Uh, and uh, what what can happen in uh, when you are removing weakly dominated strategies, possibly you have removed some of the PSNEs. Uh, we have seen one example uh, uh, before uh, where we have eliminated in a, sp a specific order, then you uh, ended up in a uh, in a specific Nash equilibrium, pure strategy Nash equilibrium. But if you uh, eliminate it in a different order, then you uh, possibly end up in a different uh, pure strategy Nash equilibrium. That is entirely possible. Uh, in one of those elimination, you have removed, you can uh, verify this, you have removed some of the uh, pure strategy Nash equilibrium in the original game. But you cannot introduce new uh, pure strategy Nash equilibrium. And that is exactly what this uh, theorem is saying. 
Um, so let us try to uh, prove this result. So let me just formally state that, uh, state the um, uh, result. Uh, consider an, a normal form game G. Suppose SJ hat is a weakly dominated strategy of player J. And uh, if J hat, uh, G hat is obtained from uh, the original game G by eliminating SJ, SJ hat, which is a weakly dominated strategy of player J. Every pure strategy Nash equilibrium of that reduced game is a pure strategy Nash equilibrium of the original game. So that is what the uh, theorem statement says. And before I jump into the proof, let me just give you a, uh, the broad intuition why it is true. So we are trying to prove that if you have a pure strategy Nash equilibrium in the reduced game, that is definitely going to be a pure strategy Nash equilibrium in the original game. Again, uh, use the same intuition that for all the players except player J, whose strategy has not been uh, has not been eliminated, uh, there is no uh, difference in the original game and the reduced game. Their strategy profile remains the same. Their strategy sets remain the same. So their inequalities uh, uh, for this uh, PS PSNE will remain identical. We just need to show for that uh, specific agent for SJ. Uh, for SJ star that that is uh, whichever it is uh, if that is the uh, pure strategy Nash equilibrium in the reduced game then it should also be a pure strategy Nash equilibrium with in the original game including this strategy SJ hat. Now you know that uh, SJ hat is a weakly dominated strategy so therefore it means that there does exist another strategy uh, which is weakly dominating it. And that strategy, the, the SJ star, which is the pure strategy Nash equilibrium, uh, that is maximizing the, uh, the utility when other players are playing the uh, Nash equilibrium strategy. And uh, that SJ star is even larger than that dominating strategy, which is dominating SJ. Uh, so therefore, it is, it is definitely going to uh, be larger. The utility is going to be larger than the utility at SJ, uh, SJ hat. And when the other players are playing the uh, strategy is uh, minus J star. So it might sound a, a little mouthful at this moment as we uh, go along the proof uh, step by step. This intuition essentially will be uh, proved formally. So let us first look at uh, the, the reduced game. So G hat uh, in this game G hat what do we have? We have the strategy set for uh, this uh, player J, this is a distinguished player, which does not have the strategy SJ hat. It is, uh, it has all the strategies except SJ hat. For all the other players, the, there is no difference between the reduced game, uh, the strategy sets in the reduced game and in the original game. Uh, so this is true for all the uh, agent I's, which is not equal to J. Now, what do we need, need to show? We start with S star which is a PSNE in the reduced game and we'll have to show that it is also a PSNE in the original game. So for all the agents, for all the agents i which is not equal to j, we can uh, write this inequality ui of s star uh, by the definition of uh, PSNE. Uh, this is going to be uh, at least as much as the utility uh, for any unilateral deviation by that player i. And uh, this, uh, this should be true for all si uh, so this SI uh, which is uh, uh, living in this space SI hat and uh, that is equal to SI because uh, for these players nothing has changed their strategy sets did not change. For player J we can write the similar inequality but this is a little smaller set it has one strategy less than the original uh, game. Now um, we'll have to show that there is no profitable deviation for any player including the player j now um, for for this players as we said for i not equal to j this is immediate there is nothing nothing that is changing for j this is true for all the strategies except sj hat right now since sj hat is actually a dominated strategy uh, what can you say about that so uh, because this is dominated there must be a uh, uh, strategy TJ which uh, lives in the same set uh, SJ hat uh, in the reduced uh, uh, game set uh, that means the strategy set without the strategy SJ hat uh, which weakly dominates it which means that you are going to so we are just using one of the definition uh, 
uh, of course this there is another uh, part of the weekly domination which is a strict inequality but we don't need that so it must be true that uh, the utility uh, when player uh, j is uh, playing uh, dj and uh, other players are playing whatever they want to play this is going to be at least as much as the utility of the same player when uh, it is playing uh, is j hat so this is by the definition of weak dominance and this should hold for all s minus j's so this is uh, weak dominance therefore it should hold for all s j's and therefore in particular if you uh, focus only on the uh, uh, nash equilibrium strategy for all the other players this is definitely going to hold now since a star is a, P a psne in g hat the reduced game and because tj is is belonging to this reduced set so notice that uh, it is belonging to this reduced set then what what can we say uh, this sj star so because it's a, a pure strategy nash equilibrium this inequality holds because of the definition of nash equilibrium because tj is one specific strategy there and uh, we have just shown that this inequality is also holding for uh, sj hat uh, because this is a uh, uh, weakly dominating uh, dominated strategy sj hat uh, this strategy is being dominated by that but uh, clearly because of the definition of um, uh, pure strategy nash equilibrium this is also going to be smaller than the sj uh, star uh, note that we cannot say this for all sjs because uh, this inequality is, uh, is true only when the other players are playing uh, S minus J star. Uh, this is uh, by the definition of pure strategy Nash equilibrium. But this inequality holds for every S minus J. And we are just using the fact that it, this also holds for S minus J star. But at least on the on this Nash equilibrium profile, we can show that this inequality holds. And therefore, if we look at the, the entire game when S J hat is also present in the strategy space, this is also going to be this inequality is also going to get satisfied so uh, s star uh, s j star s minus j star is also a pure strategy nash equilibrium of the original game and that ends uh, that completes the proof so what did we learn from uh, all these exercises uh, so we um, have not explicitly uh, 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 shown it but uh, elimination of strictly dominated strategies you can um, uh, argue that very easily that if you, uh, if you uh, just uh, remove strictly dominated strategies then it will have no effect on the PSNE neither new PSNEs will be created of course that is not uh, not possible we have shown it neither you, you will uh, delete any of the existing PSNEs but uh, the the second thing is possible for weakly dominated strategies and as we said in the previous example we have seen some of the weakly dominated strategy removal uh, has actually uh, removed some of the psnes but you will never add new psnes and in the previous module we have also looked at the maximum value the player for which you are removing the uh, weakly dominated strategy uh, the maximum value does not change for that player